Good morning everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got a post-holiday party recovery skincare routine for you. As you know, at this time of year, we're all going out with our friends and family to lots of different gatherings that keep us out late, that have us eating not our regular diet, a lot of super salty, super sugary food, imbibing in a little extra alcohol. And when we get up in the morning after a night like that, our skin really shows what we did the night before. And boy, do I need this today. It was out late last night, didn't get home till after one. At least I got my makeup off, went to bed, but got up early this morning because of course, dog wanted to be fed at 7.15. So going on a little less sleep, my eyes are a little extra puffy this morning. My skin is a little extra saggy and not looking its best. So we are gonna try to remedy that this morning with a skincare routine that's a little bit different from the normal one. It's gonna be a little longer because we're gonna add in a mask. So the name of the game here is that you lost a lot of moisture through the skin overnight. And so it's time in the morning to replenish that lost moisture. So the number one thing that is free and easy is to drink a lot of extra water today. I fill up my big water bottle in the morning and my goal is to drink three of these during the day along with my regular liquid consumption. So I also have my cup of tea going here because I do need a little caffeine to get going this morning. So that'll give me the extra hydration from the inside. And now we're gonna concentrate on the extra hydration from the outside. So the first step is of course to wash your face. So if you didn't remove your makeup last night, you definitely need to do it this morning. I would recommend using gentle oil-based cleanser and doing a double cleanse. That's what I normally do at night. I don't usually do the double cleanse in the morning, but if you still have some makeup, some residue, some you know, mascara or glitter on your face that needs to come off, definitely use the double cleanse. And I recommend using really mild products because we don't want something that foams up and that is harsh and stripping. We wanna keep as many of the oils on our skin as possible so that we can keep the skin more hydrated and really lock those in. So to remove your makeup, I would use the Clinique Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite nighttime makeup remover. I would just take a little scoop of this. I massage it right into dry skin that really breaks up the makeup and helps to whisk it away then you splash warm water on that the cleanser emulsifies with the water all your makeup runs down the sink and then you are ready for the second part of the cleanse which if you did remove your makeup last night you can start here then you're going to go ahead and use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gentle Gel Cleanser. This is the fragrance-free version for sensitive skin. And this is really great because it's not drying, it doesn't foam, it's non-stripping. So one pump of that should do it. I'm just going to rub that all around my face and then rinse, of course, in the sink behind me. And I will be right back. And to keep more of the moisture in the skin, don't use hot water when you're washing your face. Use lukewarm to coolish water. When my skin is really dehydrated, but also puffy from too much sodium and alcohol the night before, I think that a facial massage is one of the most important things that you can do in the morning. It's gonna help to release a lot of the fluids that are trapped under the skin, especially in the under eye area. So there are a number of different ways that you can do facial massage. I'm gonna show you three different ways for three different budgets or depending on what tools you have. The first one, you don't really need any tools. The second one is with like a rose quartz roller and the third one is with the new face. First one is that you can just use a regular facial oil. I like a squalane oil because this is not a greasy oil. So when you're doing oils in your skincare in the morning, you don't wanna use anything that's like super greasy and is gonna set you up to be um, oily all day. So this is much more of a dry oil, but it's gonna give you that slip. I'm not gonna put it on because I'm gonna use my new face. But if you were gonna do the massage, I would just put some oil on and give yourself a nice five minute facial massage to really bring the blood flow to the skin. You want to work out and away, especially in the eye area and everywhere else. You just want to rub your skin in gentle circles to bring the blood flow back to the skin. Then the second option is to use a roller like a jade roller or a rose quartz roller. Those are really cool and refreshing, especially if you keep it in your mini fridge. So let me just grab mine and pulling it out of the fridge, it's gonna be nice and cold. You can use this with the same oil, but it has a smaller end that you would use for getting right into the eye area. And you just wanna roll that down and away to help drain all the fluids that have pooled in underneath your eyes overnight. So you wanna do that on both sides 
and then you want to use the larger part of the roller to roll the rest of your face. Again, you want to go down and away because you're trying to release all of the fluids that are trapped in your skin, making you look puffy, especially under the eyes. And that just feels so cool and so refreshing and so nice. Then the third and the more expensive option is to use your new face if you have one. I really love the new face because it's a microcurrent and you are doing a facial massage with it. And so the microcurrent really works to communicate with your skin cells because your skin has its own microcurrent that is at about the same wavelength as this. And so it really wakes up the skin cells and helps them get more energized and it gives you a really great massage for about 10 minutes. So when I use this, I use a gel with it and that's why I didn't put on the oil because you need a conducting gel and oil doesn't conduct the microcurrent. So when I do my new face routine, I don't dry my face with a towel. I just let the water all remain on my face and I put on my new face gel. This is the primer gel. And so I just take one pump of that on an old foundation brush and I apply that all over my face. And that's gonna conduct the microcurrent with the new face. And it's also going to help to trap the water onto my skin and keep my skin more hydrated while I'm doing the treatment. And I'm not gonna do the full, you know, 10 minute treatment in this video. I've done a few videos on it. If you wanna take a look at my most recent video where I demoed my entire new face routine, I'll link that video right up here. All right, so normally when I finish my new face routine, I would remove the gel, but since we're gonna be doing a face mask now, I'm just gonna rub the gel in because this is a gel primer that's meant to be left on the skin. So it's got a lot of good skincare ingredients in it. If you had done the rose quartz roller or the facial massage with just your hands, you can go ahead and leave the squalene oil or whatever oil you put on your face right on there. And next we're gonna do a nice hydrating mask, which is the best part because while the mask is working, we get to go back to bed for a few minutes and take a little nap. So back to the mini fridge to grab the mask because I like everything for the skincare recovery routine to be nice and cold. So it really braces the skin and helps to wake it up and get it ready for the day. So I'm actually gonna use two masks today and I'm gonna layer them. I'm gonna do a dedicated one for under my eyes. This is a Patchology flash mask and these contain caffeine. And so I need that for de-puffing under the eyes. And then I have a super hydrating mask for the rest of my face and that is the Innistree Hyaluronic Acid Mask, a deep moisture water mask. So let's go ahead and put these two on. I was specifically looking for a mask that contain caffeine for the under eye area. And so these definitely fit the bill. Wait, I think I've stuck it in my eye. And then for the sheet mask, this one has like a paper backing. There's a lot of extra serum in here, so don't just throw this away. Stand it upright and we're gonna put this on our neck. So let's go ahead and unfold the sheet mask carefully. Ooh. This has really got a lot of serum in it. This contains 600 grams of hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is really good for hydrating and plumping the skin. All right, you can use just about any hydrating mask, but I would just be careful when you're selecting a mask to look at the ingredients and make sure that it's got some nice hydrating ingredients in them because I feel like a lot of them contain SD alcohol high on the ingredient label. I was looking for masks to recommend beyond this one that might be you know, available at Ulta or something and a lot of them have SD alcohol. So this one has a paper backing and it's a gel mask. So you adhere the mask to your face and then you peel off the paper part and you gotta adjust it all into place so it's nice and tight to the skin. Then there's a lot left in here, so I like to take that and rub that on my neck and chest, backs of hands, put it up my arms, anywhere I can get to. Why not? I'm all dehydrated, might as well just put it everywhere. And while I'm doing the mask for my lips, I'm gonna put on the Pixi Nourishing Lip Polish. This is a hydrating 
exfoliating lip mask. I'm just going to put that on. Really nice thick coating. Mm. I love this. It's really greasy and the applicator has a little scrubby tip. So you use that to get all the dead skin off the lips. And this has some fruit enzymes that will dissolve dead skin and help to lift it so that you'll have nice plump hydrated lips when you're done with your mask. I've got my timer set for 20 minutes. I'm going to go lay down and take a little power nap. So I sleep on my back with my head elevated. I have, oh hello, I have a sleeping wedge that I keep under here, stack a couple of pillows on top, and that's how I sleep normally. And that keeps the fluids from pooling under my eyes and it keeps my eye bags from being bigger than they would be otherwise. Also sleeping on your back is a great cure for the chest wrinkles and for deeper nasal labial fold lines. Mm. All right, that was a lovely little nap. Time to take the mask off. I'm just gonna peel this off. Pull off the little eye masks. Ooh. And if there's anything left, just massage that in. Then I'm going to go in with some of my normal morning skincare, but not all of it. I feel like since we're really going after hydration today, I'm going to skip the alpha hydroxy acids and I'm mainly going to use moisturizers and antioxidants. All right, so one last trip over to the mini fridge to get out my vitamin C serum and my CoQ10. First thing I'm going to put on is my Timeless 20% Vitamin C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. Did you notice? It's in new packaging. It now comes in an airtight pump. So psyched about that. I just ordered this last week and it's the first time with the new packaging. I love it. It's so pretty and so sunshiny. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of that. Ooh, one pump out of my fingertips and I'm going to apply that all over my face except on my eyelids and not on my lips. Bring that down my neck. Antioxidants are really great for helping to fight free radicals in our skin and free radicals are destructive molecules that damage our DNA. So they're generated from sunshine and pollution and cigarette smoke and other environmental factors. And then the second antioxidant serum I'm going to use is my Timeless Coenzyme Q10 serum. CoQ10 is an antioxidant and this also contains Matrixyl 3000 which is a peptide and that is going to help to moisturize and plump the skin. So I'm going to put that on all over including my eyelids, down my neck which of course also needs some nice moisturizing and backs of my hands. Then instead of my normal CeraVe PM lotion, I'm going to use my Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This has a lot of the same ingredients as the CeraVe. It's got niacinamide and ceramides, but this also contains a little mint and so the smell and the little tingling sensation is really going to help to wake up the skin a little bit more. I wouldn't put this on your eyelids because of the menthol in it, but everywhere else is fine. Mm, it just smells so good and helps to just really wake up the senses and make me feel more bright and alert after being so sleepy to start the day. All right, now my skin is refreshed, moisturized, and ready for the day. I just need to put on my sunscreen and then I'm done. But I love how dewy and glowy and plump and moisturized my face is feeling. My skin just feels so good, unlike it did when I first got up this morning. So that's my holiday post-party skin rescue routine. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.